What is going on guys? Welcome back to Wrestlers News of back with another video back to back days, of course. <laughs> and this video we're gonna be talking about MJF AEW. And if this is a work, if this is real, if this was what is what's going on with MJF, Tony Khan, and AEW right now. We'll talk about this in this video. As you guys for certain know as wrestling fans. Two weeks ago, or a week and like, a week and like five days ago, MJF cut a pipe bomb. He came out as he introduced himself as his full name, and just pulled a fucking amazing pipe bomb, bashing Tony Khan, bashing AEW, bashing the fans, teasing of AEW, AEW, WWE. Telling them how if he was an ex WWE superstar, would he be treated better? Talk about how he's the greatest in the world, how he's the number two seller in AEW, how he should be treated better. He told Tony Khan in the end, fire me, fire me, F you, fire me. And we've been knowing about this the past few months because Tony Khan and MJF have been in contract negotiations and MJF is asking for a high price and Tony Khan is apparently not giving it to him. And then he didn't show up to the convention uh, one day before Double or Nothing. And then he lost. And then he put this uh, pipe bomb. And he's been teasing a bunch about 2024 when his contract comes up of him going WWE. Is this a work? Is this real? I'll give you my opinion. I feel like it's a work. I feel like it is. Because you have MJF who's 26 years old. One of the best wrestlers, best people on the mic in the world right now in AEW's hands. You have Tony Khan and AEW who have probably a bunch of money to work with. They're probably going to sign this guy to a bunch. And should. If they're, they'd be stupid if they didn't. Because he's a younger upcomer that can lead AEW to a better future, uh, even better future. I think we're seeing a Daniel Bryan versus Authority angle. We're seeing a Stone Cold Steve Austin versus McMahon story. We're seeing the CM Punk versus uh, um, Triple H and Vince McMahon story. Where they're fighting back and forth to each other. And maybe they have a match. Or maybe Tony Gaunt brings out an authority figure he can fight. And they have this feud. And in the end, MGF probably wins. And stays with AEW. But I feel like this is a work to rally up the fans. Because it totally has. And make it feel real. Make it sound real. And... Bring more viewers in from WWE or bring more viewers in from New Japan or just bring viewers in in general from AWC and like, holy crap, what's going on here? Is this real? Like bringing back almost like that kayfabe, like, like back in the, back in the day, 20, 30 years ago when people thought WWE was real and actually not scripted. Bringing back people to be like, is this actually scripted? Is this a work? What is this? And that's what they want to do. Get eyes on AEW. And this is how they're doing it with MJF and this storyline with Tony Khan. You guys tell me what you think down below. You give this a like and you subscribe. You tell me if you like AEW and MJF. Tell me if you think this is a work. Because I think it is a work. But there is still a chance that it is not a work. And it is actually real life. And MJF did cut an actual real life promo on the stage. And also, he's been cut off of uh, the merchandise and roster on AEW. So that could be part of the story, or that could be because of his promo, and now they're trying to cut him out, just like how WWE cut pneumonia, Naomi and Sasha Banks. Well, tell me what you think down below, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.